Bonjour YouTube, it's Trevor here, Summit or Nothing, back out hiking on Dartmoor. Today I've come down to Lane's End at Willsworthy and I'm going to go and have a walk up the Tavy Cleave, which I haven't visited since our second outing ever when me and Nate first started the channel. So what we're going to do today, we're going to hook up to Elite in a minute and then we follow the Elite until we get to the Tavy Cleave, which, you know, it's an impressive river, it's carved a massive valley. We're going to walk along the Tavy Cleave and then off of the Tavy Cleave the Rattlebrook runs in and I think we're going to try and follow that and then from there we're going to make it up onto the top of the tours and we'll walk back across the tours over the top. It brings us back over Chat Tour, Sharp Tour, Hair Tour and then Jair Tour. That's the plan. On paper it looks good but what's it going to look like when we get there? And here look, here is the Leet now. It is in the Willsworthy firing range, so if you are going to come on this walk, then I do suggest you check the firing times. Now, I don't know if I'm on the wrong side of the leak. <laughs> there seems to be a better path over there. And I'm sort of coming up, getting away from it. Yeah, we definitely are going to have to cross over at some point. There, I see a little cross over there. And we are right under up there is Nat Tour. So while we're here, we could just go and have a quick look up Nat Tour. We won't be passing that one on the way back. Oh, anyone who's into letterboxing? This one. Oh yeah. Look at this. Yes. Right, so I know that that's Jair Tour up there and Hair Tour is over behind it. But what I'm trying to work out is what this tour here is. It doesn't actually have a name for that tour, so Max, if you're watching, let me know what that big mound is up there. That'd be ideal. So Let's get back down to the leet. Down there. Look at this view now. That's beautiful. Jair Tor towering above us. Just the valleys. That's what I love about Dartmoor is the valleys that are carved through it and make for a real gorgeous picture. Now the last time Nathan and I came this way, like I say it was our second outing, and we ended up at Furtor. I'm not going to get there today, but I will be coming back to Furtor this year. I'm going to make sure I do it this year and do a camp up there. Now we're still on the leet at the moment, but we are getting ever closer to the uh, Tavy Cleave down there, look. And I tell you already, it's just awesome sight, the views. Every corner you move around, the views change again. Now Nathan and I almost came and done this walk a couple weeks ago, uh, but it was the day after I'd done my coast walk and I did myself a mischief. I just tripped and lunged and caught myself. So then the following week I was going to do this walk with Stan and we was going to do a camp, but we both sort of come down with a lurgy. We hadn't met each other, just our kids had both sort of brought them home from school or something. Uh, so neither of us really felt like it. So this week I'm just doing it as a walk. I haven't got time to camp today, but I'll check out some good camping spots. Here it is. So this now is where the path's gonna get a bit more dubious. There's no actual track here. Whee! Let's see what this is like. That's my foot. Not ideal, but actually, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say anything.
this is what I remember. I remember this spot when we came with Nathan at. So I've been looking forward to reaching here. The waterfall's over there. There's a lady there. I'll just give her a minute to have a look. Enjoy it. Don't want to rush her on. But absolutely splendid, isn't it? It's gorgeous. I've just met a chap who's uh, been taking photos. And I sort of told him the route that I was suggesting, going up following the brook. He said, I have done it before. He said, I can't remember how I've done it. He said, but it might be a bit boggy. You might not get very far, so we'll have to take a look. See how far I can get. If not, I'll be replotting my route. swimming I thought yeah, they'll be putting wetsuits on they are crazy crazy but uh, there we go that was my favorite part of this walk that I can remember uh, the busiest part as well everyone was there so we'll carry on walking So, we're still walking up the Tavy Cleave. We've got a fair way to go before we get up onto the top. So, it's always a bit unnerving when you're walking across, especially Dartmoor, uh, next to a brook. It could be really boggy, it could be impassable in places. And, you know, even at like a distance as short as a kilometer, it could end up taking hours. <laughs> I've been there before. Ooh. we're gonna get through here. I seem to remember this bit when I come with Nath. Can't remember what we've done, but it looks dodgy. Can I climb through that? Give it a try, I suppose. Easier without cameras in the hand. But yeah, I think we can. I think we can, we're through. Look at that. leveled out there now right I might just have a break a minute have something to eat because up here is where the Tavy Cleave forks around if you follow it round to the right that's where me and Nath went when we uh, done fur tour but we're going to try following it to the left to see how far we can get suck it and see right we're going to start turning the corner now so I've actually come up away from the, the river so there seems to be a bit of a track here. I'm going on the same route, but I don't need to be down at the water's edge. Just as well follow the good ground. There she is, look though. Say goodbye to the Tavy Cleave. The track's brought us down to the water's edge anyway, so. But this is all right at the moment. If it's all like this, that'd be amazing. But I shouldn't feel a life for me think it's gonna be. If you followed this all the way up there, eventually it'll bring you to Bleak House Ruins, which we've been to a couple of times. From there, you can cut across to Great Links over the Dunner Goats. All right, yeah, this looks like it could be boggy here. I can still up, I can still keep up. I'm trying not to get down there we can keep going up here, it'll be all right. Oh, beautiful back there, look. Right, what looked like a path, it's more like a stream. 
So it's quite wet along here. I'm gonna keep to the tufts, hopefully. I'll carve my way. If not, I'll be turning around in a minute and going back. Oh. We're trying to make my way up there, one or the other. So uh, that happened. Just lost my foot in there. Not got any gaiters on, have I? Which is a schoolboy error because the chance of this being any decent terrain through here is minimal. Look, I've hardly come any distance. It's hard work and it's hot. Be losing my coat in a minute. Just keep going for a bit and see where we go. This is solid for a bit. There does seem to be footprints through here, tracks, human tracks. So I'm hoping this is going to be all right. This is better. Moving a bit now. Okay, so where are we? Yeah, so we followed the Tavy Cleave and now we're up to this point here. Moved up to Dead Lake Foot, which is here. This is Dead Lake Foot. And we want to carry on now up here until we're underneath Chat Tour. Because at the moment, we're sort of just underneath Hair Tour. And yeah, we're probably about a sixth of the way up the brook that we want to be. So it's about another kilometre and a half. This could be fun. Well, this path seems a bit meandery. We really are like weaving our way. But so far there does seem to be a bit of a track, whether it's animal track or soldiers have left this track. Now, right up in the distance over there, that could be chat tour. I've got a feeling it is, but I'm hoping it's not because it's, it's a heck of a long way away. But I've done about the same distance again from where that brook met the river that I had done from the, where we left the Tavy Cleave. So I think there's about six segments like that. It's taking me about 20 minutes each one. It is slow going. It's all right when there's bits like this, but I don't know what I'm going to expect through there still. Let's just keep plugging at it, see what we get. Peaceful now. We're a bit of a distance from the end of the brook, but it's quite good walking. We've done about the same again. It didn't take us so long then because we wasn't clod hopping. It wasn't as tussocky along this little bit. Fingers crossed. And uh, it stays fairly well trodden. Right, we're nearly there now and we actually ploughed across there. I'd done that whole length, that whole stretch there, quicker than I'd done the, the first two parts of the brook walk. And also, um, we're sort of on the side of Chat Tour now. So that ahead of us is the Dunnegoats, which I was hoping it was, which means that's Green Tour up on the hill over there, I think. And Bleak House Ruins is over there in between the two. But we're not going to get up there. We're just going to sort of walk around this corner. And then we're going to start carving up this hill and get up to the top, up to Chat Tour. I've been there before, but I can't actually remember which tour Chat Tour is. And also, what have I noticed? Up there, look. That's Fur Tour. Up in the background. Awesome. And there, look. Up over there now. is Bleak House Ruin. Hey, impressive zoom, isn't it? Can't do that on the GoPro. I mean, there's no actual path up to Chat Tour. I just sort of got to where we'd have to turn 90 degrees, walk straight up the bank to get there. So that's here, where we can see Bleak House Ruin there, Fur Tour at the back. But yeah, we can sort of walk up here. Now, let's do it. As she's now looked behind us. Great Lynx Tour. Getting up, slowly but surely. Keep going. Here we are now, here's Chat Tour. I remember which one it is now, just a little rock. Whew. Tell you, it's colder now, we're up in the, uh, up on the tours, the wind's whipping. Here we are, hello. Hello Chat Tour. If you stand up on it, 
ってみる Here we are look Over there A sharp tour Hair tour And then Jay tour behind that, that's where we're going to go Great links behind me The Dunner Goats Green tour and Kitty right up in the background. Fur tour. Let's carry on, shall we? Quite wet up here. That looks boggy. It's wetter up here than it was down by the brook. Keep on the tussocks. Yeah, when you're walking on this sort of stuff, always try and tread on these bits here, like that. And what you want to look out for is this plant here. It's where that turns up. That's where it gets boggy. That mossy stuff can grow where it's really wet. That's what I've learned over the years. Anyway, here look, sharp tour now. One of many sharp tours. Up here, Raptor over there. Oh, look at this open up now. Absolutely amazing. Let's get up. when we was going to camp up here the other week this is where we would have come so might have been some space down there for camping too it might be a bit flatter but it's quite wet up here should we go down on that cluster of rocks and see what's over there down there so I camp with the patrons I think that's the last time we camp with the patrons I better sort another camp out and there we go sharp tour beautiful going over to hair tour now that was the first place I ever done a camp on my own anyway solo camp over there In case you're wondering what Trevor's earworm is today, today's earworm is Okay, so this is hair tour, and if you look around here now, you can see Jair tour over there where we're going. This down there, look, 
you just see the leet under Jertor and then the Tavy Cleave which we walked all the way along here today that's those mound of rocks there that we didn't quite know what they're called but then we walked all the way over to there so you get to that crease that's where the uh, Tavy Cleave goes around the corner and the Rattlebrook enters it and then we followed the Rattlebrook all the way up and around here over to Chattor Now, I think when I've done my first camp, solo camp, I think it was exactly in this spot. There's not many level areas around here. So, yeah, I've got a feeling it was here. Looking out across Jetor. Here we go now, j -j 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 -tour. I tell you what, it is absolutely freezing along here today. But this coat, this is a rab, my rab waterproof, does cut the wind out, but I wish I bought a woolly hat. My like, ears are fucking freezing, mate. Here we go, last tour of the day. Jertor. Here it is. Certainly looks different from up here, doesn't it? That's where we joined it. We followed the leet in around there. See? And then the leet joins the path there. There's that little hut down there. And then we walked up there. And around there. And around there. And around there. <laughs> you know what I did. You were there. You were with me. Jet tour. Should we go and have a look? So, I don't know if you've noticed, but what I choose to do now, I sort of use both camcorders. I really, I do like the GoPro when it works, when it stops working all the time, I don't bother, but you get some really good shots, especially over like the tours and things like this. It's really smooth and it's quite good for vlogging because it's quite a wide angle lens. And this one I set up for my shots, my sexy shots. So there we are, Jet tour. From Hair Tour, from Sharp Tour, from Chat Tour, from the Rattlebrook, from the Tavy Cleave, via Nat Tour. And there, look, over there is the car park. So that's it, Endort. Thanks ever so much for watching me. Chase! <laughs> <laughs>